before getting into a uh, cloud technology or before uh, start learning about any cloud technologies it's very important for us to understand about the differences between on premises and cloud technology so basically we, we need to understand what are all the um, you know boundaries or what are all the disadvantages of the on premises and how we can overcome the same using the cloud technology all right so in this video let's understand about the differences between on premises and cloud technology in detail so first let's go through um, about on premises and cloud technology by definition and uh, following to that with an real time example let's understand about the differences all right so what is on premises service it's the method of deploying the required resources as like in terms of both hardware and software in your local environment to deliver any service say for example you want to deliver some online web application right online sales uh, e-commerce web application right so what you'll be doing you will be purchasing the uh, required server means the required hardware the server hardware and you will be deploying that server in your data center at local environment and your team or you will be maintaining the service means basically you purchase the server purchase the required resources in terms of both it may be a hardware or software and you deploy that in your data center and you will maintain that service this is what on premises is all right but when it comes to cloud technology where instead of you purchase deploy and maintain the required resource in terms of uh, whether it may be a hardware or software in your data center it is an on demand serverless technology where you don't need to worry about the resources in terms of hardware or software you directly deploy you directly install your application in the uh, cloud where google will take care the rest of the all right so google will take take care of the maintenance part you just deploy your application that's it all right so where users access the required resources online over the internet and that is available in the virtual space all right so this is what it is so in the um, on premises technology you will be purchasing the required resources deploying that in your own premises in your own data center and you manage the service whereas in the cloud technology as it's an serverless right you are not going to purchase any hardware instead you are just going to install the application or deploy the application in the google's environment and maintaining that uh, hardware and the resources will be taken care by google all right so whenever users want to access the resource they will be accessing the resource over the internet and actually that resource will be available in the virtual space all right it's not in your data center it's available in the virtual space which we referred as cloud all right and very importantly here uh, we are not purchasing right it's pay per use mechanism it's a kind of renting all right however when it comes to on premises here we need to purchase we need to procure the resource but again in the cloud we are not procuring any device or any uh, hardware for uh, lifelong right we are just it's a kind of a renting mechanism where we use something and we pay for it all right L let's try to understand the same with an uh, real time example all right so before cloud technology is nothing but uh, when i say before cloud technology again i'm referring to on premises all right let's consider a scenario um you have one online shopping application a web application right that's hosted in your physical server at your own uh, data center in the local environment and you are managing it all right so um as per the capacity of the hardware all right as per the capacity of the hardware or the server where the application is hosted at a point of time it can accommodate it can respond up to 20000 request okay we we just putting in scenario all right just to understand about the um, advantages of on premises and cloud all right so here um, in the on premises we, it's just a kind of a situation where we are trying to understand as i said right so in in a on premises you just imagine that you have deployed your application in a physical hardware and you are maintaining the service and as per the current availability of your resource of the hardware right it can respond till 
ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रिक्वेस्ट एट द पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन अ सेकेंड राइट सो दिस इज वॉट द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द हार्डवेयर आई वुड से ऑल राइट एंड just consider we are putting few more situation to it just consider there is one uh, there is some festival season is coming or some holiday season is coming all right like diwali uh, new year christmas kind of a thing okay and you want to give some special um, sale discount offer to your customers all right and you know that uh, there would be approximately 50000 request per second it would be hitting to your application right but currently as per your uh, capacity uh, your hardware is capable to serve only 20000 request right but uh, if in case you are you are going to put some uh, this big billion sales kind of a stuff right um, on the occasion of uh, festival season or any holidays um, you are going to uh, you are going to announce some festival season means a, a big uh, sale discount offer for one week or five days something like that and you know that or you you expect at least 50 thousand request per second right which is almost more than 100 percentage of the current situation right so now what we need to do so in order to avoid any outage of your web application or in order to avoid any business impact to your uh, application you need to procure more resources right so in terms of uh, on premises technology you you need to purchase a another resource as uh, more than the same more than the current available resource because the current available resource is capable of serving only 20000 request however you are expecting uh, to get at least 50000 request right so now you want to procure a new hardware right and you want to uh, deploy the same application where it is capable of serving 50000 request basically you are enhancing your hardware right all right so this is uh, this is the way how it works in the on premises so if you know that there would be a huge request coming uh, going to come then you would be enhancing your hardware capacity okay by this way you can achieve your requirement and uh, maybe consider that you uh, that expected season comes and um, as you have enhanced the hardware uh, capacity now your uh, application serves uh, more than 50000 request as well but what happens to the um, situation or what happens after the big billion sales or what hap- what happens after the big sale uh, the discount period where you'll be having only 10000 request per second so now uh, the huge investment of money in procuring a new hardware right it it becomes ideal right because as per the uh, as per the new investment you you have procured uh, as hardware a server you have en- enhanced the current capacity of the resources to respond till 50000 request but after the big uh, big sale discount uh, period now again your uh, average request comes to 10000 only per second so now the investment that you made in procuring a new resource become ideal so this is one of the biggest disadvantage and one of the other uh, these are the few disadvantages in uh, on premises and the other one is dedicated team we, we need a dedicated team to maintain uh, the network and the infrastructure right and the third one again uh, the newly procured resources will become ideal once the peak time is crossed yes of course maybe it would be uh, helpful during the next big sale offer wh- when i uh, when i will get more than 50 m- around 50000 request right but it's not going to happen in the near future right it would be happening after 3 months or 4 months but until then that the investment that uh, i made in the resource enhancement is ideal all right so this is one of the biggest disadvantage and uh, the other one is need to plan earlier if you are not aware about uh, h- how much request you are getting definitely there would be a big service impact so in this sit- uh, sit- situation as we know that uh, we as we expected that there would be 50000 request at a time so we have enhanced the hardware so what come if we didn't enhance the hardware which is capable of serving only 20000 request so in that case there will be a service impact but when i get 50000 request to the hardware which is cap- cap- capable of serving only 20000 request right so these are all the disadvantages of the on premises all right so 
what happens if i if the, if i face the same situation in the cloud technology or um, just we'll just put in this way uh, i i'm i'm running the same application same online um, s- sales application the e-commerce application and instead of deployed in the local data center and i am maintaining it you just consider that i'm running an e-commerce uh, web application online uh, sales application online uh, application which is deployed in the google cloud okay so but this time it's very cool because as we discussed earlier right it's an on demand serverless technology so whenever uh, there is an big sale offer right instead of i go and purchase the server i can just increase the resources that is required and once the big sale offer is over completed i can just release them back right and again as i said earlier it is a renting right it's not a procuring kind of mechanism so whenever i i need some resource i just enhance my resource and once I, once the need is completed i just release them back when i don't need it and i just to pay for whatever i used that's it all right so this is the big advantage of cloud technology and below are the few advantages of few advantages of cloud technologies and it is not limited to only this all right so they are a cost optimization on demand self service resource pooling reliability data security measured service a rapid deployment fast software update for resources high speed and flexibility so as is again it's not uh, the, it's not only limited to this there are multiple advantages of using cloud technology so hope uh, we understand about the differences between on premises and cloud technology let's get into more about cloud technology